now i assume that you have made all the four parts that are required for the mechanism our next task is to assemble all those four parts in catia so we just go for this assembly design this is the assembly design interface now we have to input all the four parts that we have made for inputting we just go to this product right click on this components and that is existing component since we have made these four parts individually before so we select this four parts just click open so these are four parts that i made now since these parts are merging with e each other so we need to separate it for better look so we just select this manipulate option which is present here now this is manipulation dialog box these things are the x y z this means that is for dragging along x y z axis these are x y y z and z x z this is to drag along a drag along a plane that is x y plane y z plane and this is to rotate about any particular axis so we just drag parts along first x axis so to separate them from each other then we drag along y axis arbitrarily so the basic of the four bar mechanism is there are four pin joints and for pin joints as we made in part design these circles that we made for pin joint so what we have to do is we have to make the circle coincide with each other so we have to make something like coinciding constraint so there is a feature called coincidence constraint in catia v5 so we select this feature and what we have to do is we have to pick the axis of this circle and this circle to make these circles coincide with each other now what catia did that it created a constraint that this circle will remain coincident then what we have to do is we have to set a surface contact between this top surface and this surface so we select this contact constraint we have selected this surface and then we will select this surface so that this two surfaces are in contact so this is how we create a pin joint the next step is to create a pin joint between the green and yellow link so we click on the coincidence constraint and pick the axis of this circle and this circle and again what we have to do is that we have to make two surfaces in contact the top surface of the green link and the bottom surface of the yellow link this is done this is another pin joint then for pin joint between the yellow link and the purple link we pick the circle we pick the axis of this circle and these are co coincidence with each other then again we have to constraint the surfaces then we pick this surface and then we pick this surface now the last pin joint for that we pick the axis of this circle by a bit difficulty we pick the axis of this circle now this is actually just a kinematic chain because these are four link that are completely closed to make it a mechanism what we do we just pick this anchor this does a part of fixed component and we just fix this link say black link that is our fixed link so that is how we assemble all these four links now our task is to simulate for simulation we go to start menu and digital mockup then dmu kinematics this is where we do simulation to simulate what we do what we have to do is we have to create a mechanism for mechanism just say select this fixed part and it asks for mechanism select new mechanism made a mechanism say name it four bar okay and just what was our fixed part that was black part so just click it so that get you got understand that it is fixed part now one important thing since catia does a feature called assembly constraint conversion for simple mechanism simple mechanism you can say that include four bar mechanism slider crank mechanism so these are the simple mechanism by assigning this feature catia automatically make joints between the constraints that we do in the assembly interface so we create so we auto create those joints by clicking this auto create button 
and Katy had done the rest of the thing. You can see here an application mechanism. We have created four bar mechanism. It says that degree of freedom of the mechanism is one, just because we have to give in the input rotation. That is the input to the four bar mechanism. Then there are joints. These are the four joints that Katy automatically created. now this as you know that this is a fixed link and for my simulation this is the green link is the input link the yellow link is the coupler link and this purple link is the output link so what we do next is the we selected a joint that contains these two links that the joint is created between these two links so what we do is that we create a command that is we give a command of angle driven that means that here is you can say a motor acting between these two and Uh, fixed link and this green link has a relative motion and that relative motion is angular and so, so we create okay and we get a message the mechanism can be simulated just we click okay this is a good message to see then we click on simulation it asks for which mechan for which mechanism you want to simulate four bar and then it asks for command the command that we gave was only angle driven so we uh, give a command from 0 to say 360 degree and insert it and to make it looping we give a multiple loop then for velocity control we give a velocity of 0.04 and just play it see this is the input link this is completely rotating input link this yellow link is coupler and this is the output link you can see that the full rotation of the input link this output link is reciprocating between two fixed limits so this is a crank rocker type of mechanism you can also make crank crank and rocker rocker type of mechanism by just changing the length of these four links this is quite a easy mechanism as you can see i hope you will like it thanks for watching